Today we're going to be talking about the characters and the setting in one of my favorite books, Mrs. Wishy Washy. Before we get started reading this story, we're going to talk about what a character is. A character is who the story is about. If you look up at the screen, you can see that sometimes characters aren't just people. Sometimes characters can be monsters or ghosts or a giant or a turkey or a gingerbread man or a cow. So not all the time are you going to see characters as people. We're now going to begin reading the book Mrs. Wishy Washy. The story is by Joy Callie and the illustrations are by Elizabeth Fuller. Take notice of the front cover. Who is on the front cover? Think about our goal today. We're thinking about who the story is about, which is the characters, and where the story is taking place. So listen and watch as I read this story as you are thinking about the characters and the setting of the book, Mrs. Wishy Washy. There's our title, Mrs. Wishy Washy. There looks like Mrs. Wishy Washy. How does Mrs. Wishy Washy look on this front cover? Think about... Mrs. Wishy Washy through this story and what she has to do with the story. Mrs. Wishy Washy. There's our title page which says Mrs. Wishy Washy again. Why do you think there are bubbles and soap on the title page? Think of the title Mrs. Wishy Washy and look at the different things that she might use to wash with today. Oh, lovely mud, said the cow, and she jumped in it. Oh, lovely mud, said the pig, and he rolled in it. Oh, lovely mud, said the duck, and she paddled in it. Along came Mrs. Wishy Washy. Just look at you, she screamed. In the tub you go. How does Mrs. Wishy Washy look? In went the cow. Wishy Washy, Wishy Washy. In went the pig. Wishy washy, wishy washy. In went the duck. Wishy washy, wishy washy. That's better, said Mrs. Wishy washy, and she went into the house. Notice here, where does it look like they are? What is the setting of this story? Away went the cow, away went the pig, away went the duck. Where do you think the cow, the pig, and the duck are going? Oh, lovely mud, they said. I hope you enjoyed reading this story with me today, Mrs. Wishy Washy. Remember, we're really focusing on today the characters of the story and the setting of the story. Think about the characters that were in this story. Visualize it. Do you know what it means to visualize? Visualizing is like making pictures in your head. Close your eyes and think about the other characters that were in this story. Remember, characters are who the story is about. Who is this story about? You're right. The cow, the pig, and the duck are also in this story. Well, who do you think the main character is? The main character is the person that the story is mostly about. Well, I can infer that the main character is Mrs. Wishy Washy because she looks like the most important person because she's on the front cover and the book is also called Mrs. Wishy Washy. So that must mean that Mrs. Wishy Washy is the main character and the cow and the pig and the duck 
are also characters. Think about a cow, a pig, and a duck. Where might you find a cow, a pig, and a duck? Well, we looked at the, at the picture. Let's go back. Where Mrs. Wishy-Washy is going back into the house. Where do you think the setting of Mrs. Wishy-Washy takes place? I see a cow, a pig, and a duck. I'm going to use my schema, which is what I already know, and I know that you find a cow, a pig, and a duck where? That's right, you find them at a farm. So the setting of Mrs. Wishy-Washy is a farm, and the characters are the cow, the pig, and the duck. Good job today. I have a challenge for you. I want you to illustrate and label your favorite character from the story today. Here is my challenge for you today. I want you to visualize your favorite character from Mrs. Wishy-Washy. Illustrate a picture of your favorite character in the box below and use your spelling, your phonemic spelling, to label the picture of your favorite character. And I'm going to challenge you even more, Super Smarty. Can you draw the character in its setting? Hmm. I remember that the setting, the setting is where the story takes place. Remember we talked about it a couple minutes ago in the video. Where was the setting of Mrs. Wishy-Washy? You did an excellent job today talking and discussing the characters in the story Mrs. Wishy-Washy, which is who the story is about. And you also did an excellent job talking and looking at the setting of the story, where the story takes place. Good job.